Coming up on this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice, we discuss quality and compliance. What exactly is compliance? How can you ensure your practice is compliant in everything you do? How do you create a culture of compliance? We answer those questions and discuss the emerging trends in quality and compliance. Happy New Year! It's the first episode of Putting Possibility into Practice for 2019, and it starts right now. I'm Joe Agostinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health. And first, on behalf of everyone here at Greenway Health, I wish you a happy new year. We are kicking off 2019 with a brand new guest to the podcast. I ask you to please welcome one of the newest additions to the Greenway Health Executive Team. She is Chief Compliance Officer Susan Kohler. And Susan, welcome to the podcast and happy new year. Thank you. Happy new year to everyone. Uh, first, let's uh, just talk about you and talk about your background and, and what brought you to, to Greenway Health. I actually saw Greenway Health on social media, on LinkedIn, and I saw some of the articles being posted by Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who that is. <laughs> and that's when I first learned about Greenway. And I explored the organization, and I saw an opportunity that was available uh, posting for a chief compliance officer. And it was in healthcare, and I said, hey, this looks interesting. Uh, sounds like a new opportunity and a new challenge. And I applied to the organization. I've, I've been in healthcare my entire life since I was 18 years old and in various roles in healthcare. Um, and this is yet another uh, company in healthcare. Healthcare is a pretty expansive industry. And I was going to ask you that. Uh, how does one go into compliance in in healthcare? <laughs> one falls into compliance in healthcare. Uh, there are a few programs out at some of the universities, such as George Washington University, has a program around compliance. But for the most part, people fall into compliance. There's a pretty close alignment with quality and compliance Uh, but most people fall into a compliance role just through an evolution of their role they've been they are asked to take on a challenge and in our regulated environments in healthcare, people are will be asked to go read a regulation or go read a policy or a requirement and the next thing you know everybody's coming to you and asking you to interpret or understand what requirements are and from that, working with business owners and being able to help them understand it, one day you wake up and you've been doing compliance for 10 or 15 years. And let's talk a little bit about compliance. And um, when we talk about compliance, what exactly is compliance? It, it's, a, it's not complaints, which you often hear people say, you, you're the complaints officer. No, I'm a compliance officer. And, Really what our role is to work with the business and organizations to understand all of the complex regulations that we have to understand, interpret, and put into practice. And our role is to help you understand in simpler terms what does it mean to you and what does it mean to what you're doing every day. And then making that a part of what you do every day. That's really what compliance is about as it relates to our customers and our own organization. And in talking about our own organization, you know, how can team members here at Greenway Health adopt a habit of quality and compliance in everything they do, whether they're customer facing, whether they're not customer facing? Well, it starts with each individual. And what we try to do as an organization is make sure they have policies and procedures and training that are all aligned with ensuring they understand what the rules and requirements are, and then how to translate that into their everyday job. Policies and procedures are those reminders of the training that you've had, and they're the reference tools that you can go back to, because we don't expect at any point in time for people to remember everything they're supposed to do all the time. But what we wanna do is get people into a rhythm of understanding where are the resources to help remind them what they should be doing every day. And then the second piece of all of that is doing the, doing the right thing even when no one's looking. And, and people will ask, what does that mean? Um, it means when you're doing your job every day and you come across and you don't know what to do, 
Do you know where the resources are? Do you stop yourself when you're not sure what you're doing? Do you ask questions? Because we don't want people to just make assumptions or move forward and think they're doing it correctly. We want you to be confident you're doing it correctly. Your managers are there to help you with that, your policies and procedures. Maybe you need additional training. But all of that is supposed to be front of mind every day when you show up. That's what, we're, that's what we really think about when we think about compliance and quality. And that goes into creating a culture of, of compliance. And how can one create a culture of impli- compliance? Well, the first is helping people understand that raising your hand is OK. Um, I've, I've talked with some folks here at Greenway, and that's really one of the messages I have for individuals is if your manager says, hey, do X, Y, Z, and you don't feel comfortable with that, or maybe it contradicts something you've heard previously, instead of going back to your desk and being confused or assuming what you think they mean, that's where you raise your hand. That's the first step, is feeling comfortable raising your hand. And a part of that then is for the managers feeling comfortable with the employees raising their hand and saying, hey, I'm confused, or hey, that contradicts something, or hey, that's not how we've been doing it, this is how we've been doing it, and and creating that dialogue so that everybody's clear on the direction we're going. That's the first step, is people feeling comfortable speaking up. Um, The other part of that is working with folks to make sure they've clearly documented expectations as well as our policies and procedures. Those are what we should be living by every day and ensuring that we're following that same consistent process so that we're always delivering a consistent quality product. And in regards to providers and and our customers, you know, how we talk about here at at Greenway with so many employees, you know, uh, enacting a a culture and and growing a culture of compliance. How can providers and our customers uh, be compliant in everything they do each day? Well, it's definitely a challenge for them, uh, as much as it is for us, because regulations are continually changing. And I think we can be the advisor to help them in that process. Um, We have resources who are continually looking at the requirements and trying to understand what those requirements are. So I see that as a partnership in working with our providers. Uh, Let us help you understand what those requirements are. And then I think having their staff understand what those requirements are and working together within their offices to understand what those are. Um, We all have to educate ourselves on those requirements and then be advisors to each other and support to each other through that process. And with the smaller staff that um, providers have in their practices, um, how can they create a culture of compliance? Well, I think the first thing is, is ensuring that they've Uh, relayed the message to everyone in their office, hey, we're here to do the right thing. Um, But what is the right thing? Uh, What are the rules that we have to follow? And you know what, if we don't know what they are, are are there others we can reach out to? So again, if there are customers, we want to be able to create an atmosphere where if they have questions, uh, let us be your advisors and help you find some of those answers uh, so that your staff aren't assuming what they should be doing, but let us help be those advisors and partners for them um, so they don't feel that they don't have anywhere to go or don't have resources to support them. And quality and compliance, certainly uh, one of the big themes heading into 2019 for the healthcare industry as a whole. What type of emerging trends do you see in the, the year ahead in regards to quality and compliance for you know, our organization, our providers, patients, Uh, and the healthcare uh, industry as a whole? Well, I definitely know in our industry, they've published the final rule for 2019. And again, there's a a large document with lots of information related to our specific industry, uh, reporting um, health information and quality measures to our regulatory bodies. Um, We're here to help digest some of that and help our customers understand what are those trends and how will those be changing for them. We're also hearing more and more about accountable care organizations. Um, Around an accountable care organization, uh, those models are looking at reimbursement that's based on quality and quality outcomes and quality measures. Um, There's quite a trend in value-based reimbursement models as well. Um, That's gonna be 
continue to be on the forefront. Uh, our CMS is really pushing towards more value-based reimbursement models. They're really pushing payer organizations to be focused on these models. With that comes incentives in their uh, reimbursement models with payers. So our providers need to be informed on how do they, how do they measure um, and then how can they demonstrate quality to their payers so that they can receive those incentives as well. Uh, we can be their partners in that as we develop additional products in, in our value-based measurements and analytics. Um, we hope to be able to help providers um, be able to support those future reimbursement models. And in addition to uh, those products and those services offered by Greenway Health providers, are there things providers can do to at least stay, maybe not on top of with everything else they have going on, but at least be in tune with what may be coming down the pipeline from a regulatory uh, type of news? Um, or if there's, you know, I know when there's proposed rules, there's always a comment period. And we always tell people, you know, make sure they interact during the comment period. What can providers do to stay on top of some of the ongoing changes? I think some of it is being active in some of the organizations that review that guidance when it comes down. HIMSS is one that comes to mind. I'm pretty big in our industry in recognizing how the information management can, can be a key part of quality and measures in quality. I think also partnering with vendors such as Greenway Health where we do publish newsletters. Um, we have informational uh, seminars, these types of podcasts where we're really trying to understand what's happening and how we can push information out to our customers. Great. Well, I thank you um, for all of the, the great input. And, and first time on the podcast, we'll certainly uh, have you back as this, uh, as this area of healthcare continues to evolve and, and change almost sometimes on a, on a daily basis, it seems like. So most definitely. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Susan. Susan Culler, the Chief Compliance Officer here at Greenway Health as we talk about quality and compliance to kick off this new year of 2019. And for more information on the product solutions and services available from Greenway Health, I invite you to visit our website at www.greenwayhealth.com. And a reminder, you can subscribe to our podcast on your podcasting platform of choice. You can now find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Player FM, SoundCloud, Libsyn, TuneIn Radio, Stitcher, and Spotify. And as we get deeper into 2019, look for more podcast platforms coming soon. Once again, Susan Kohler, the Chief Compliance Officer of Greenway Health, my guest on Putting Possibility into practice today. I am Joe Agostinelli, the social media manager at Greenway Health, and thank you for listening to this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice, the podcast from Greenway Health.